Welcome to the NetSuite training video provided by Trustangle Company. My name is Sarah Siyufi, and in today's video, we will be demonstrating how an employee can create an expense report using NetSuite application. First, download NetSuite application from the App Store, then click on Open. Now enter your email and password, and it's better to click on Remember Me, then click on Login. Now this is the dashboard that we will use and you can switch between the dashboard and the home page from the top center of the page. In the home page, you can see all your reminders and Trustangle team can build any reminder that can help you in your daily tasks like expense report pending the approval and expense report in progress. Going back to the dashboard, in the dashboard page, you can see the expenses that have been created but not yet submitted in the to report and you can see any progress amount for the expenses amount that you submit but not yet paid. And now we have two ways to create our expenses. In the first way, you can enter all your expenses without submitting them and when you finish, you can submit all your expenses at one. To do so, click on add expense. First, we have to take a photo of our invoice, either by using camera or from the device. Then click on Use Photo. On the date, NetSuite insert today's date at the date of this expense and you can choose another date. Now enter the amount. And it's important to know that we have to enter the amount without tax. Choose the currency, the expense category. And if you have any note, you can write it in the memo field. And then click on done. As you can see, we have now one expense that we have created but not yet submitted in the to report. I will add another expense using camera, Use photo, enter the amount, choose the category and currency, and write your note, then click on done. Now we have two expenses that we created but not yet submitted. And to submit your expenses, click on the number under to report. You can either click on the plus icon to add a new expense or click on select expense to report to start submit your expenses. I will click on select expenses to report, then choose the expenses that you want to submit either one, all or some of them. I will choose my expenses, then click on create expense report. Now, I will start filling the information of the first expense. Enter the tax code, if you have any tax of this expense. Then click Done. As you can see, the system automatically calculates the tax amount and the gross amount. And you can also enter the gross amount directly. And the system will calculate the tax amount and the original amount automatically. Now we will enter the department, class, and location of this expense. As you can see in the attached file, this is the photo that we took for our invoice and you can also add a photo while submitting your expense by clicking on attach file. And then select the file, either from library or take a photo from camera or choosing a file. And when we attach the invoice picture, the receipt will be checked automatically. When you finish, click on add. Now we will fill the information of the second expense.
and then click on add. Now we will go to the three lines at the left top, then click on main. Now we have to fill the header information of this expense that used for reporting purpose by choosing the department and location and you can write header memo or note on the purpose field. Now going back to our expenses. Now you can either click on complete later to complete filling your expense information on another time or you can click on submit. I will click on complete later. Now going back to our dashboard, refresh the dashboard. As you can see, to report become zero because we start filling the submitting information but we didn't finish it. And to complete your expenses, click on my expenses. Then change the view by clicking on the four squares. Now you can see all your expenses with their status. This is the expense that we create but not yet completed. And to complete this expense, click on In Progress Keyboard. Click on Edit. Going to our expenses. Now you can complete filling your information for your expenses. And when you finish, click on Submit. Going back to the dashboard. As you can see, the ink progress amount has been increased due to the expense that we submit. And now if we click on my expenses, now you can see the status has been changed for pending accounting approval. And if you have been activate any approval cycle, you can see all the expenses that are under approval either from the reminder or by going to the my expense and follow up with their status. And a single team builds approval cycle for each client according to their requirement. And you can click on the sort to sort based on the recently created, recently modified, or recently viewed. And you can also click on filter to filter depending on location, class, department, or any other filters. And now the second way to create an expense is either by clicking on the plus icon in my expense or from the dashboard by clicking on report expense then click on the plus icon you can either choose an expense that you created before from the expense log or to take a photo for your invoice from the camera or blank row to create an expense without photo i will choose to create with camera Now you will complete the same process. Thank you for watching. This video was brought to you by Trust Angle Team.